Hello and welcome back to another Good Game Nation video where we bring you everything TCG. My name is Sam and I'm here with another One Piece episode and it's Meta Meta Wednesday. I think it's Meta Wednesday. I'm so sorry guys. I, it's Meta Monday sounds good, but it keeps coming out on Wednesdays. I don't know. You saw the title. We are here with Come Crocodile decks. So here are Meta 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 Wednesday. We review tournament winning decks that are posted on Twitter. If you want us to review your tournament winning deck, you can always add us at Good Game Nation. It'll be linked down in the description. And we'll review your guys' decks. And we have a slew of crocodile decks, and they're all incredibly interesting. So let's definitely get into it. I feel like Crocodile is a very under shown leader right now, but they show up every once in a while, and we have some good ones here. We have Handle, oof, Ereti 0305. All the Twitters are going to be linked down in the description below. Thank you so much for sharing. And we have a mono blue crocodile deck. They went 4-0, three matches against Kaido, and then against a mono red. Three matches against, uh, I'm guessing this is uh, regular Kaido. So very exciting. And this is it on dev. I'll link both down in the description if you guys want to check it out. If this is easier to see. So we have croc here. Things that are jumping at me right away immediately four nine drop mihawks so they fought three kaidos i'm guessing they this is a meta specific uh tech they saw a lot of kaidos they probably saw a lot of kings and mihawk absolutely ruins king so i'm thinking this is the reason behind that um nothing else too shockingly jumps out of me at those is i wonder how bon clay was so bon clay was a card that i have tried very very many times to make work because i i want to play bon clay that's mostly the reason um but it has terrible synergy with your Peep, your Doflamingos, and your Peronas. So I found it very hard to play the two together, and they have the two here. So I'm wondering how that went. That's probably the most uh, interesting thing there. And then the Centomaro line. The Centomaro line is just four and four, and none of the blocking uh, Pacifistas. So this is in a very aggressive, very, very aggressive uh, Crocodile deck. Probably one of the more aggressive ones I've seen, actually. Um, there's nothing in between the 4 and 7 drop. Uh, normally we are starting to see the uh, 5 drop 7k, the Krieg. Um, oh wait, no, that's not Krieg. The 5 drop 7k, uh, Virgo. Very strong in this uh, tempo deck. I wonder how, if he tested it and that's how that did. Um, Gecko Moria is a card that we're going to see a lot of in this one as well. Very, very strong card. Very prominent, especially if you're playing a handful of Warlords. Um... Gecko Mario is always going to find you your uh, your value. Very, very cool deck. Um, I'm very interested to see how what the purples were looking like. Because when I usually test this deck and the purple is playing a couple of the 9 drops and a couple of the 10 drops, it's very hard for mono blue croc to get over that stuff. So you're going to have to be very aggressive. You're going to to be very uh, very tempo-based when you play this. So keep those, uh, keep those concepts in mind uh, when you give this one a try. Very, very cool deck. Thank you very much. Boom, the next one is a blue-purple uh, crocodile, and it is by Joe John 000 uh, And the most, uh, here in the tweet it says they ran 10 copies of the 2K to cover the weakness in the early game. Really cool, really interesting tech, something that I actually have not seen before uh, in response to a weak early game. So we have Blue Purple Croc, uh, very strong with event cards, and we have a slew of them here. Uh, I think Spada is definitely going to be Spada, and Love Love Beamer are always going to be your two when you play this deck. This is a These are the best two for sure. They offer you draw. That's amazing right there. Um, again, the most interesting thing has to be these uh, two drop 4Ks. Um, they're right. They definitely help cover the early weakness. They're very strong into trading, and if you want to be aggressive with them, they're easy to be aggressive with them. And if it's neither, they're 1K counters. Um... I don't know if I've experienced that heavy of a um, offensive attack that I needed to do this. Um, I've tempted to play the at least the Jinbei because it had good synergy with Gekko Moria and other Warlord combos. Um, this is definitely a very, very interesting tech. I, I would like to think that it is very specific to their individual uh, store meta, but this could be worth trying if you're struggling with early, uh, early aggression in any of your decks. So give that a try. It could be uh, could be interesting. Um, other cards that are interesting. I'm interested in this King line. Usually it's the other way around. Usually it's the two of the six drop and one of the seven drop or two and two. Um, I'm guessing this is also very local meta. 
uh, dependent. But this curve is very nice. This is, I think, very staple-ish of Crocodile, going into King King, Dof two Dofies and two Mihawks. Uh, this is very similar to what I've tested as well. Four Queens, yep. Four Morias, four Mihawks. The Manslayer is very interesting at one. It's a nice, it's an interesting little card there. Uh, and Miss Sunday needs to be in all of your croc list, guys. Miss Sunday is uh, way too good of a card not to be playing at, uh, at a four count. I like this deck. I'm, I'm very interested. Uh, when I do try this, I'm definitely going to test out the uh, two drop four Ks against an aggressive early game deck, maybe against Zoro. So a lot of fun. Um, and then, oh, really quickly, Lion's Threat, Imperial. Minus two Don KO to one of your opponent's character cards, five or less. I figured uh, a lot of people haven't seen this guy because he's a um, star deck from the film card, or star deck film card um this is gonna replace your brachio bombers um brachio bombers is way too expensive um it's easier just to minus the two dawn and then ko something uh with croc you also draw a card so there's just way too many pluses in that um very very strong tempo deck so that makes me interested on how why we need this many but then again i gotta test it if i can find out myself thank you so much for sharing this really really interesting deck and then the last Crocodile deck, the handle is HKROPC. He went 4-1 and one against Croc. Uh, no, no mention of what he played against, but again, very, very interesting, very, very different. We're seeing the same trend with the two, a lot of the 2-drop 4Ks. Um, not as many. We have a couple ulties, and we also have jacks this time. So this is a ramping crocodile list, which is very cool, very exciting. And what are we ramping to? We have Douglas Bullet, Croc, and Promo Law. Promo Law is really sneaky. Um, I've never seen someone play this many of them. Usually it's a one-off. Um, but he is very committed to taking life with this law. Um, this law taking a life and then losing a couple to Douglas Bullet is a ugly little combo here um yeah nothing really negative to say about that it's something i want to try right now uh i'll probably do it as soon as i get off i want to see how this douglas bullet law ramp combo works here um it's very staple-ish very spot as you have your love love beams you have your miss sundays your law blockers uh, mihawk there's no mori on this list we're running less warlords that's the reason uh the only ones you can actually pull with it is mihawk jimbe and law that's 12, so maybe it would have worked. That's a card you could definitely try. Um, but the ramp, there's a lot of ramp here. We have four jacks, two ulties, and then two Ains. Is that how you say her name? Uh, she's also from the uh, film deck, if you have access to this. It's just an on-play effect. So this is probably one of the more interesting ramp cards that I've seen. Um, usually four drops in blue are very heavy. You usually play, you can play Boa, you can play Drake, you can play... Um, Gecko Moria. There's so many good blue four drops. So it's very interesting. This there's also no queens or kings in this list. We swapped all that out for Croc and Bullet. Um, you know Croc has great synergy with the leader. Um, every time we've tested him, he he seems a little slow. But this seems to be a slower style deck. This is definitely more of a play and set up and then respond to what your opponent does than attack. Um, no immediate actions. A lot of response plays. Um, Brachio Bomber is a really cool card. Um, we mentioned Lion Threat in the previous uh, deck. Has a ton of value. I'm guessing we're playing this because of the ramp feature, though. The ramp feature is uh, very important to this deck to get to your big drops before your opponent can really even respond to it. Um, looking at this deck, again, I'm wondering how the purple matchup is because purple's ideally going to ramp faster. Um, they're going to ramp into scarier things because they're beast pirates. They're going to be popping a lot of these really interesting characters. So I wonder how the purple matchup was, but I definitely want to keep... I want to try these 2.4Ks. It's very interesting to see so many and so many of our croc lists. So if you are playing croc and you are struggling with the early game, give these guys a try. It could uh, help your results. And the ramp. Oh, the ramp is really interesting as well. I haven't seen this much ramp in uh, Blue Purple Kaido, but that's the benefit of having the, uh, the purple attached to the blue. Really cool, and I like the differences in the uh, the blue purple. I'm I've already covered the red green Luffy. I'm gonna tag that here. When I was making it, it was so similar to Law because those are just the best cards. But when you're playing the two different blue purples, the Croc and the Kaido, the lists are wildly different, and uh, that's just testament to how well the blue and purple cards were done. So very cool, very interesting deck. All right, those are the three lists that I have for you guys today. It's very Croc meta, very 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 fun. Um, 
Let me know in the comments which deck was interesting. Let me know what tech you guys saw that you tried. The two drop 4Ks are uh, very interesting. I definitely want to uh, give that tech a try. And I want to try 7 drop Croc again. I really gave up on that guy kind of early. So I'm going to give him a try later tonight. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Have a good night.